Well, there are new beginnings across the board for this new moon, y'all. Every single sign is going through a rebirth and a new beginning. Welcome to your December reading. Let your tears roll, the pain go, the past roll down your cheeks. Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading for December. Let's see what the spirit messages are for y'all. It's a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. If it does resonate and you would like a private reading, the information will be in the description box below this video. And y'all please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps. So we're going to see what the energies are for Virgo for the month of December. Virgo. Fireworks in Mexico. <laughs> All right. We're going to do um, your function, your work with the universe, your abundance, your money, prosperity with the universe, and your vitality and health with your source, your higher power, and the thoughts that keep us stuck. Hey, what are you doing? Not yet. So you have some beautiful cards here, Virgo. You're between worlds. Milk and honey, time to go, and building blocks. We'll see how that all adds up. Wow. Okay. Okay, Virgo, your energy is the Seven of Cups. We got that in um, the weekend reading, so there is a bit of confusion. Um, it's just that you have so much... Um, so many opportunities not all of them are for you so you're gonna have to um, sort out the valuable from the valueless that's big time step in the course of miracles you do have building blocks so you're working on something that's really coming along great you have something solid here um, and there's something you don't want to let go of though but you're coming in to a new Let's see, let's see, let's see. So with your um, function with the universe, with your work, you're between worlds. Um, you have between worlds, the king of pentacles, and the six of wands, which is beautiful energy. Um, a victory after challenges, a celebration, recognition, support, and you're coming into this King of Pentacles, really overcoming your fear of lack thoughts. So this is with your work. You're going to be a leader in your um, with your money. You're going to take control of it, and you're going to allow the universe to guide you. You're in between that world right now. Really, tr you're learning to trust. That spirit's got your back in every single thing you do and that what you're doing has been given to you by the universe. It's a gift from the divine. I can see that in your energy here. You may be holding on too tightly to your money or you may just not and let something go, but we're going to find out what that is. I'm just going to clarify everything right now. Yeah, I saw that shadow energy. Okay, so Virgo, you know, you are a little bit stuck. I mean, you see that, you know, you see he's got a little bitty world in his hands, but it is a new world. It's just a, it's just young, you know, it's just new and it's not fully developed, but, you know, he's still trying to make a decision about two different things, but he's only got his hand on one wand, so I can see that he pretty much knows, you pretty much know, Virgo, what it is that you want. And you're going to have to leave someone behind. 
I can see in this card that there's somebody sad. Very, very sad that this guy's about to go off in a new venture. Oh, it's sad. But you are going. <laughs> you are going to grab that wand and start anew and very, very quickly um, something is coming to you with your work very, very quickly or you're traveling to it. Okay, so, so with your work, um, you know, you have this idea, Virgo, of what your Ten of Pentacles means to you, you know, what your family, this, this, this um, card has all these pinnacles around it. And it's, you know, a couple with kids and a dog and the grandparents and all this wealth. And they've got so much wealth, they're able to give it away and share it with the ones they love. Um, you want this and you are coming out of the gray area in your life where it's been pretty much without these things um, that you've wanted, whatever your idea of this night, this um, 10 of pentacles is, you are coming to a new world with that. So it's really refreshing to see. Um, the new world that you're coming into is the king of pentacles. So, um, and I've got that the chariot is clarifying that. So the chariot is um, very victorious, fast, forward moving energy. Um, and so qu very quickly, I can see with your work, with the universe and your function with God, um, the work that you do here on this plane, you know, you are very quickly coming into your king of pinnacles, which is, you know, just living a life of complete abundance, loving what you do, leading something, um, and uh, just no more worries about finances and how you're going to make it, how you're going to, you know, not only provide for your basic needs, but for yourself and others. And you know very quickly now that you're coming into this wealth and abundant well that's going to be your next one but your job your job is going to bring this this feeling that you've got everything you need this is your work whatever your work is whether it's um you know um taking care of children or doing something artistic or um volunteering it's going to make you feel like you have everything you've ever wanted and i do see you're going to be victorious about these lack thoughts so the five of pentacles represents feeling lack um, feeling like you don't have enough homeless actually and I can see that you're overcoming this energy and it's been a long 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 road for you Virgo um, just never knowing how you're going to survive or take care of yourself or others I mean those thoughts it's not always it's not been the case you just have a fear of it and you know with that's with this card with the six of wands, you have come through the challenge of those lack thoughts coming out victorious. And you it's the work that you do because it's not just the work, um, whether it's bringing you in money or not. Um, the healing is happening that um, in your mind, you are coming to realize that you were put here by a loving God and that, you know, there, there are limited amounts of wealth and funds and work to do that's fulfilling and in purpose and you're coming into this knowledge after a long journey that you are worthy of that kind of um yeah giving through your job and receiving and and knowing that um a higher power has got you in all situations it's beautiful energy so Virgo, I mean, I'm just feeling so much abundance and wealth in that function card, but we're going to go next now to this row of abundance and you got milk and honey, honey. <laughs> this is just amazing energy. Well, let's take the, um, the card that's a little bit challenging. So you've got the lovers clarifying the moon. So with your thoughts of abundance and having everything you need to, um, provide for yourself and others, you've got the moon um, which is something's hidden from you or there are illusions and delusions in the mind and you are in the, you know, swirl of it all in the mind, but you're allowing these thoughts to be looked at and healed. 
A huge decision um, is something that you're coming into around your your finances and your abundance thoughts with the world. And we can see that in the first row. Um, yeah, these these have a lot to do with about healing lack thoughts in the mind. This whole reading so far has that. But um, yeah. So I can see that you are deciding to come out of this um, this illusion you have around being cared for by the universe. You have had some conflict in your mind around um, your immediate friends and family or the ones that you're with. You've had some conflict, but you're really just mind training. That's what the Five of Wands represents for me. That's my card for mind training, overcoming the thoughts in our mind that say, say that we're not loved. But I can see very much so that you are. I mean, this is a card of victory, celebration, being with like-minded people. And yeah, cheers to life. It's good. But what really struck me about this row is that you have milk and honey clarified by the queen of pentacles. So you have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, which is could be a divine union. Um, if, um, if it is a divine union, I can see that it's... Um, going to be very abundant and and prosperous either the one that you're in right now or one that's coming in is going to be very um, helpful in healing your thoughts around lack um, so also the queen of pentacles represents um, you know she's mastered her um, beliefs in um, not knowing where and how the universe will take care of her she's mastered feeling you know, I could be left out. She's mastered her form, happy health, happy home, happy life. She's in control of her, her um, thoughts around money. And this is your energy. You're coming into this milk and honey, which is that pot at the end, pot, pot, pot of gold. <laughs> Just an empty pot at the end of the rainbow. No, it's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Y your cards are beautiful, Virgo. I mean... I guess I forgot, I was just kind of, yeah, you could see me stumble there because I forgot to do a row about love um, and just emotions and, you know, those, those kind of thoughts about will I be loved, but it's coming out in your reading. It's coming out in your reading that there is a, um, a, a union that's important and it's blessed and it could be intimate or it could be just friendship, but I do see um, stability and love in your relationships, um, which has been a huge, huge challenge for you in these last um, months, Virgo, to really take hold of your relationships. And yeah, and that's what I do have the lover's card as well. So you are discovering something that's been hidden for you with love. Um, and you're undoing the illusions um, that you had about love. So beautiful. In your vitality with the universe, you know, your health, your energy for life, you have, you're being asked to, um, yeah, find balance with um, the temperance card, to take everything in moderation. Um, you are being protected. This angel is taking up the whole card. Um, it is time to leave something behind that is uh, depleting you of energy with this time to go card. Um, and I can see in this row that it's this shadow devil energy. The devil represents codependency or addiction, or it can also represent just real negative thinking in the mind. Um, the thing I like about the devil is that it's not um, the truth, whatever's going on. Like um, if you believe that you are um, held prisoner by someone or something, um, you, it's not true. You have the um, ability. This is clarifying the high priestess. So with this shadow, the universe is ready to take this from you. I can see that with the high priestess. Um, the high priestess represents um, really following your intuition. It represents going inside and um, questioning the why, why we're here, the mysteries of the universe, why 
it seems like good things happen to certain people and bad things happen to certain people. It's really going in, inward and taking responsibility for the mind that believes anybody or anything could hurt, cause it hurt or pain. I mean, this is the work and you're doing it. You're being asked to do it, but you're doing it. I can see that here because, I mean, you've got some kings and queens here, but you've got the king of cups and I've clarified it with the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is a, um, a passionate, fast-moving energy or message of love or project, a new idea that's taking you know, flight or coming to you. Um, and I do see that you're coming. So that, that shows me that you're coming very quickly into this King of Cups energy, which is what you have been working on for a long time, Virgo. It's mastering, I mean, I'm sorry, it's leadership. It's like taking a leadership role in your life, in your emotions. So it's coming to balance. You see this king is seated on his throne, floating in this, you know, raging water. I mean, it's not calm water, but he's calm. So everything around him can be raging, but he is stable, solid. He's compassionate and loving, but he is not going to sacrifice his own emotions for other people being upset. He has gone through it all in his journey and he's come out a king, you know, and people go to him for advice. Virgo, this is your energy very quickly coming into you once you, um, as you let go of this shadow energy. And I can see you have this shadow energy underneath here, but then the um, ace of wands. So you are like completely deciding to face your side, your shadow side, or whatever that is to you, any addiction, um, any feelings of, you know, being trapped mentally or physically, you're letting go of, because you have your higher power helping you let go of that never-ending story that made you feel so bad. This higher power is coming in, guiding you the whole time as you build these blocks towards your new life, your future, that is very, very different from what it once was, Virgo. Your life is um, already extremely different than what it was um, six months ago. You are coming into your own, and it is quite beautiful. So let's pull two cards from the angels and the universe to wrap up your reading. Virgo. Oh. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. Beautiful. I'll take it. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so one more card from the universe. You got channeling. Beautiful. Experience your stream of consciousness. You have the ability to tune into different streams of consciousness to gain wise information for healing and expansion. Channeling shifts your awareness so you can stream information from various frequencies. It is just like tuning into a radio station. If the information doesn't agree with you, tune into something different. You can't expect to hear rock music on a classical music station. With practice, you will be able to tune in to your soul transmissions easily. You have focused a part of your stream of consciousness upon the earth plane to experience life in new and varied ways. Your soul loves you so much. It is always transmitting this love and truth, even when you have forgotten. 
That's what I have for for Virgo for the month of December. It was a beautiful reading. You are really coming in to a beautiful new world and new life. So you can get excited about it, Virgo. I hope it helped, and I'll see you next time. Feel it all now, just allow. You're not gonna break. <laughs>